Dr. Robert Wayman joining me now. He is a urologist with the Ogden Clinic. This is our sponsored segment, and we are talking about kidney stones. The connection I didn't know a lot about. As the temperatures go up, so do people coming into the ER with kidney stones. That's correct. Yeah, dehydration has a big, big, big uh, uh, role in, in patients forming and passing kidney stones. Okay, let's back up a little bit. What is a kidney stone? Kidney stone, well, I've heard it, uh, one of the, the general managers referred to it, uh, compared it to a rusty nail being driven into his stomach. It's so that painful. It's that painful. Yeah, they're, they're actually uh, crystallized collections of salts and minerals that are in the, that are in the urine and, and in super saturated or, or, or uh, um, complex uh, situations, they are um, crystallized and form stones. As luck would have it, you brought us an example. I did. <laughs> an example of some I kidney did. stones, right? I've never, I've never actually seen one. Yeah. What do they look like? Well, they look, they look like, uh, um, I mean, something that you'd find in the middle of a geode or some kind of a rock that you could find in the parking lot. Okay, wait, something that tiny can cause that's so correct. much pain. That's about a four millimeter stone, and that's something that could take somebody to the ER with pain. Okay, just, well, then I can't that imagine what like this is doing. That was more like a centimeter. Can't imagine and then, that. And then these stones actually came out of, these stones were significant enough that they actually caused the kidney to stop functioning. Oh, wow. And the kidney had to be removed, and those, that's what was inside well, you, the kidney. you can't pass those. You can't pass those. No, those would have to be treated. Can you pass otherwise. something like this you, or this? You can. A stone like that, probably 80% of people can pass a stone like that, uh, but otherwise they require treatment. So when we say pass a kidney stone, what does that mean? So it means you drink a lot of fluid, and you endure the pain, and your, your ureter, the tube between the kidney and the bladder, has peristaltic motion, just like your intestines that move the food through, and that's how the urine gets down, and that's how the stone gets pushed down into the bladder. Obviously, for this, you would have to do a completely different treatment. Yep, correct. Like, like what? Yeah, well, for a small stone like this, uh, you, again, if you can't pass it, we use either shockwave lithotripsy, that sound waves or shock waves applied to the stone through the body, or you can go in with a scope and use a laser to break it up and then pull out the chunks of the basket. More common mm -hmm. in men or women? In men. I think men have to take one for the team. They don't have to have babies, but they definitely have more stones. So why, why is that? Do we know? That, so it's it just genetic and uh, um, just kind of the, the makeup of a men's me metabolic uh, system makes him more prone for stones. But definitely so. dehydration doesn't help. Dehydration for sure. Dehydration, high salt intake, um, colas are negative, high protein intake can be a risk um, so multiple factors so a couple little yeah. things there you mentioned you can do to possibly prevent them you or if, if you've had one are you more likely to have another one you are if, uh, if you've had a stone your recurrence rate is 50 percent in five years and then 80 percent in 10 years what are the symptoms so people know do they often think it's just a stomach ache or is it much more than they that? are well if the stone is just sitting up in your kidney then it doesn't cause any symptoms at all it's when they try and pass and they cause obstruction or blockage of the urine the pressure in the kidney hurts so People can have some blood in their urine. Um, the most common symptom is just flank pain. So you'll have a pain that starts in your your back and radiates down to your front or even your groin. I've had friends pass them and it's not funny. Like they don't. It's nothing to smile about, right? Like it's. I mean, it is really painful. Are there risks associated though? More severe health risks? For sure. Um, I mean, the, probably the biggest risk is if if it blocks the kidney long term, like these stones did, along with infection, it actually caused the kidney to not function any longer, so it had to be removed. Should you go in and have your kidneys check for these, or do you not know till it happens? That's right. Well, if most there's no there's no guidelines for. Um, monitoring or evaluation for stones unless you present with symptoms. So if you have blood in your urine that you can't explain, or if you start to have pain, then you should be evaluated. That looks like something you'd see in the ocean. You don't want it in your kidneys, Coral, right? Yeah. Coral, doesn't it? It looks right. that hard and tough. If you have questions, the Ogden Clinic has answers. They're so great there. Go to goodforyouta.com yep. slash midday for a link to all of their information. Dr. Wayman, thank you so much. Thank My you. general manager's cringing next to us like, oh, <laughs> been through it like Stone so many veteran. of you yeah. out there. Emily and Glenn, Back to you. All right. Thanks so much. Invest.